And time for our talk of the town today here on AM 1390 KRFO. And the uh, fourth Friday of each month we meet with the Chamber of Commerce. But uh, today we'll do a little special one on the Chamber. We're going to talk just tourism today. As Director of uh, Convention and Tourism, it's uh, Katie Godfrey who joins us. Lots. Oh, town has got so much to draw people to. And I guess we'll start off, I, I didn't realize this, but I guess uh, next week, first week of May, National Travel and Tourism Week, right? Exactly, yeah. Well, thank you for having me. Um, yeah, I'd like to talk a little bit about National Travel and Tourism Week. It is always the first week of May, and really communities across the country celebrate this week in all different ways. Um, last year, we actually had our um, first passport program, and that went really well. Um, this year, we decided to do kind of a digital version of that. So basically, we're encouraging people for the entire month of May, um, and actually starting now, to take pictures around Oatana of their favorite places. So it can be anything from, you know, if you're on the balcony inside the Wells Fargo um, Louis Sullivan Bank, um, taking a selfie with Princess Oatana, hiking on the trails, going mountain biking in Kaplan's Woods, getting ice cream at the blast, any of those iconic things um, that you love to do in Oatana, we'd love for you to take those pictures and um, tag those pictures with the hashtag Celebrate O-Town. Okay. And then what do you do with the pictures once you have them? So yeah, tag those pictures and then as long as they're tagged um, and, and please take those pictures through either Instagram or Twitter, Facebook isn't really going to work for us, but um, as long as they're tagged, we'll be able to search for those pictures. And then um, if you take a minimum of four pictures in different categories, we have four categories, attractions, iconic selfies, outdoors and food, then you'll be entered into a drawing to win $100 in chamber dollars and we'll throw in an Oatana theme basket with different gift certificates and gifty items from around town. Okay, it's going on now, and then how, how soon do you have to get your pictures in? Is there a deadline? Um, through the end of May, so as long as you're you know, taking pictures during that time, um, you'll be entered into the contest, and then we will notify a winner in early June. And are you going to be tossing those, all, a lot of those pictures up on different places? Or? Yeah, well, um, in addition to the contest, we'll make sure to feature some of those pictures periodically on our Facebook page. So if you check out Visit Oatana, um, you'll be able to see some of your pictures featured as well. Okay, so, so that's going underway all during the month of May yeah. and of course uh, we're talking tourism and we're first part of May it's a tradition I don't know how many years it's way in the 30s but mm -hmm. Corky softball tournament coming up Yes, um, so it's actually the 37th annual, um, and it is one of the largest and most competitive softball tournaments in the country. So it's pretty significant um, that Oatana gets to host that year after year. It will be May 5th through the 8th. Um, there's actually going to be May 5th as a new um, hometown competition between Oatana and Faribault, and then most of the activities will be happening um, Thursday through Sunday. So a lot of great stuff happening there. And of course, the whole the game with the end result you want for tourism is, is dollars coming into town. I, I would guess, uh, boy, the number of teams and everything, and the, and the fans, that's mm -hmm. kind of pumps some money into the economy, doesn't it? Yeah, it's incredibly significant. Um, we have this year 176 teams from eight different states. Last year, there were 148, so that's a pretty big leap. And 30% of those teams are from outside of Minnesota. And then I imagine a lot of uh, Minnesota teams will also be spending the night during that weekend. So, um, according to Lauren Dietz, who is the coordinator for that event, it brings about 4,000 people to Oatana for the weekend, and we know that the hotels are full. Um, and according to Explore Minnesota Tourism, which is the state tourism department, um, the average per person per day spending for overnight travelers in Minnesota is about $89, and that does not include lodging. And then for the day travelers, it's about $52. So we're actually estimating, um, this is a kind of a conservative estimate, that there's about $222,000 spent in local economic impact during that weekend. Okay, and that's uh, coming up, starting, uh, starting in May 5th. And other things uh, you'd like to talk about as far as tourism, uh, there's a new visitor guide. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, um, well, hopefully you've seen it around town by now, and if you haven't, we have them at the chamber, but we have a new visitor guide. Um, it's larger than the previous guide. It's more of an editorial piece that kind of has the feel of a magazine, um, and, you know, we're just trying to make sure that it's um, seen where we distribute it. Sometimes those smaller guides can get a little bit lost, so um, it is our major print marketing piece. We do a lot of digital nowadays, but um, it's still important to have that great visitor guide, so they're distributed actually all across the Midwest. 
um, to different convention and visitor bureaus in Minnesota, different chambers, and then um, those travel info centers on the border of the state. And then, of course, the Mall of America is our, our major um, venue. If you've ever gone to one of their entrances and seen the next four Minnesota tourism columns, they have those guides all around. Um, and then we've already mailed about 800 guides just based on requests through our website and our um, mailings that we get. And then uh, is that something someone could just stop it down with the, the chamber if they would like one or not? Yeah, we actually have a 24-hour visitor info center. It's our vestibule, so you can go in there anytime and grab either our guide and maps or guides from around the state. We even have, um, you know, Wisconsin Dells and Door County and the Iowa State Guide. So if you're looking for um, either grabbing those Oatana guides for if you're having family over um, or if you're looking to travel this year yourself to different places, we have all sorts of materials there. Oh, I'm sure a question maybe you get is that if there are family reunions coming, <clears throat> excuse me, to come in town, are you available for help? Like, I've got a hundred cousins coming in. Yep. Uh, can you help me out, find a place for them to stay? Or can you work with yep. us? Absolutely. Um, that's one of the services that we provide. So you can give us a call at the chamber at 451-7970 and ask for Katie. And I will, um, you know, reach out to the lodging properties in the community and get those room blocks set up for that group. Okay. Mm -hmm. Something again, it's just simple call, contact the chamber, and uh, just talk to them a little bit. Um, are you offering a new group tour package this year? What's that all about? Yeah, we have this partnership with the History Center and the Orphanage Museum. Um, we work with Anne from the Orphanage Museum and Kim and Stephanie from the History Center quite a bit. And um, we came up with this package. Um, the History Center actually approached us about it. And basically, you know, we all have tours that we promote. At the Chamber, we promote the bank tour at the National Farmers Bank. Um, but we thought, you know, it'd be great to have a package where a group tour operator or someone from a family reunion could just call the chamber, one number, get one price for all three tours, and it includes lunch and snacks. So um, it's just a really easy way to kind of combine all of those things into one day. And you're also kind of reaching out to our, to our neighbors to the north and to pooling your resources too, mm -hmm. uh, aren't you? Yeah, we have a great new regional tourism marketing partnership with Faribault and Northfield. We're calling it the Mini Road Trip, M-I-N-N-E, um, -N -N -E, like Minnesota. And um, basically we've pulled some of our resources for marketing and it's just allowing us to have a much larger economic uh, marketing impact. Um, we've been able to place ads in the Twins and Viking yearbooks, the Minnesota Group and Package Travel Planner. Um, we've done one trade show and we'll be doing another in Duluth soon, but it, you know, we don't, we're not able to do all of that with our own marketing dollars. We've been able to further, the, further those marketing dollars with this group. Um, and we've even created a website, miniroadtrip.com, and we have a Facebook page as well. Okay. And one neat resource, of course, the Chamber of Commerce uh, webpage where you have a calendar of events. Mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of folks maybe aren't taking advantage of that. Well, let's say you have a, a church chicken dinner or something. How could uh, I get that up on the calendar of events? Yeah. Um, so at the Chamber, we have two different calendars. Oatana.org is the Chamber website. And um, you'll be able to find any community event on there, um, including those, you know, fundraisers and things like that. So as long as it's being sent our way, um, it will get posted. Um, on the tourism side, we have a calendar on the visitoatana.org website. And um, it's very similar to the chamber calendar, but it's a little bit more geared towards visitors. So we have all of the events that visitors can go to on that page. Is that, uh, is that just for Owatonna or Steel County, or, or if someone did want to send something outside the county, or you pretty much try to keep it local? Um, it's for the Owatonna area, so okay. it kind of depends on what it is, but you know, events that are happening at the Medford Outlet Mall we include as well. Okay, and again, that, that website you can find how again? Um, Visitoatana.org is the tourism website. Okay, yeah. we're talking to uh, Katie Godfrey. We're talking tourism here on uh, behalf of the uh, Owatonna Chamber. Some other things you'd like to bring up, uh, things to look forward to, or things that are maybe more people should be aware of that they could see or enjoy when they come and visit Olatana. Mm -hmm. Anything off the top of your head you want to talk about? Well, um, you know, I think that it's amazing that the Wells Fargo Bank allows visitors to actually tour the bank. Um, I know just speaking to um, the people who work there, they say that about 20 people per week, just visitors, not people who are going there for the banking, um, visitors visit 
each week, which is pretty significant. Oh, yeah. And that's not even through the chamber, but we also provide that service. Um, we have wonderful tour guides who, um, you know, will give tours of the bank. It's about a half hour or so. And, um, you know, I would just encourage people who live in Oatana to do the self-guided tour if you haven't done that. There's all sorts of information at the bank. But again, if you have a family reunion coming in or if you know of a group tour, that would be great. Um, you know, we do offer that service. Oh, so if I had a, a group of family and I could call the chamber and say, would, could someone show, show my family around town? Is that workable? Or? Yeah, I mean, it, we'd like to have a minimum of 10 people mm -hmm. for those sorts of things, but um, absolutely. Okay. And again, this is the Owatonna Chamber. And again, if you have some, if you have people coming into town or you want to do, let's say if somebody, I know we have different conventions. We have, I think it was the button collectors a few years yeah. ago. And well, I'll just make believe I collect buttons. And <laughs> I want to host the convention. What would be the first step? What would you do if I sat down and talked to you? What would you tell me to do? I want to bring all my button collectors to Owatonna. Sure. Um, so basically, yeah, we help them through the process. If there's a convention looking um, to have an event here in Owatonna, um, typically they'll, you know, let us know what the size would be and if they're looking for overnights and then we would reach out to the lodging properties to see what availability and rates they're able to offer. Um, and then in addition to that, you know, we can provide things like free welcome bags. Um, we can talk to the mayor about uh, welcoming people at the convention or have our president of the chamber welcome people. So there's all sorts of things that we can help out with. Okay. A few things you mentioned I didn't think it was possible. I didn't know that happened. So mm -hmm. I learned something. Glad I asked about yeah. that. And anything else you want to say before we wrap her up, Katie? Um, you know, just thanks for having me on, and um, tourism season is just starting, so um, we'd love to see those pictures with the Celebrate Oatana hashtag, and um, thanks again. Okay, again, that's uh, Katie Godfrey from the Chamber of Commerce talking tourism here on AM 1390.